welcome to Loftus. Uh, I suppose I should also welcome the two cows back there. <laughs> it's a lovely hot day out here at Loftus. Uh, we'll try and keep it short so there's not too much of sunburn. Uh, today's a little bit extra special as uh, we're going to introduce you guys to Chalk and we've got a nice project with him. I hand over to Baron from Crano, CEO. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, media, our guests from Ch Charles Kuali, Roseanne Stradom, and Ina Chomper on my right, and other Chalk staff and other guests attending. Uh, uh, it's a privilege for us as the Blue Bulls, to, as a professional sporting organization, to be able to participate in uh, rugby union. It's also special to be involved in some charity work, and that's why CHOC is so important for us, and CHOC stands for Childhood Cancer Foundation of South Africa. Uh, over the past number of years, we've had a good re working rela relationship with you. Our players, our coaching team, and what happened in the past few years is the, that the small children with cancer inspired us on how they challenge uh, the uh, status of cancer and uh, our players have spent some time with them over the past number of years and that's why we are sitting here together. We've had a lot of fun this morning uh, distributing golden ribbons to uh, 19 organizations, 19 stops and we've had 11 teams with players uh, arriving at these organizations, some of our sponsors, sponsors of Chuck and other uh, at schools, and they had a fun morning and just check uh, uh, Twitter and Facebook for that. Uh, <coughs> to the media, uh, thank you for being here. We need your assistance in the next day or two on Sunday when we play against Western Province here. We'll have a chalk a children's carnival on the E-field and this will include live entertainment, flea market stalls and a variety of carnival games and kids entertainment. Thank you Chuck, for allowing us to be a strategic partner in your projects. I hope that we will do this for a number of years to come. Thank you. Okay, uh, now a special welcome to Ina Chompa, an amazing superhero that makes a lot of this stuff happen. Good afternoon everybody and welcome and thank you for inviting Chok. Um, I'm going to actually take this a little bit to another other angle. Why do we part? Um, firstly because of mutual passion. A group of parents in 1979 um, was in a hematology unit where the child's children were diagnosed with cancer and they realize the immense trauma, emotional and financial, the parents go through. And these parents decided to just start a support group because they have the passion for each other and to look after each other. The second thing that's very important is to nurture a relationship. Mr. Van Kroon was saying, um, our relationship is almost three years now with the Blue Bulls. And um, these parents also, for four decades, nurtured their relationship and brought shock today to a nationwide organization where we offer support to the children and the family through our various core programs. There's always mutual benefits for the partners itself. Rugby is a game that's loved by children and by families. We watch our kids on the field and we've got families sitting next to the field watching the kids play. This is where friendship starts and this is where heroes are born. Um, Mr. Van Kroon mentioned the Blue Bulls went to the hospitals, to the pediatric oncology units, and a child diagnosed with cancer stays a child. It's a child that looks forward to see their heroes. And I would like to thank the Blue Bulls and all the players that 
actually visit the children and did coloring activities with the children. Through our partnerships, partnership over the four years, there was also opportunities. Um, opportunities to spread the message. And this is why I'm standing today in front of you. Each of you have got the gold ribbon on your chest. In South Africa, the childhood cancer survival rate is 53%. We need to reach everybody, especially in our rural areas, that children are diagnosed early and can get treatment in the academic hospitals in the cities. And that we can only do by partnering like with the Vodacom Blue Bulls. Um, that we can spread the mes message under your communities through your marketing team that diagnose childhood cancer and we can get to a survival rate like in the developed countries of 80%. So I'm very glad to see all their ribbons. Thank you very much for doing that. I would like to thank all the players for going out this morning and hashtag be bold, go gold. Because it's with you, we can't do it alone. We are a non-profit um, organization. But it's with your support that we can do that. And also, we're coming Sunday to Loftus. We hope we can fill this field with supporters that will support the Blue Bulls, because the Blue Bulls is a great support to um, Chalk Childhood Cancer Foundation. So thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to partner with you. And we are very um, we're grateful to be partners with you. And together, we keep more than hope alive. Thank you. Thank you, Ina. Um, I think let's get down to the business between the four lines, captain and coach. see that performance as the, the type of adaptation to conditions that you need to um, handle if you are going to involve as a team? Yeah, good afternoon. Um, yeah, yeah with the conditions last week were um, yeah, yeah, very different for us, uh, clearly. Uh, we took too long to adjust, uh, too long to adapt. Uh, we clearly um, needed better delivery to be able to dominate the gain line or behind it as well. Um, but Put it, pulled all that aside, um, we, we really fought hard to stay in, in the match and uh, should have... Is there pressure, that kind of pressure there? Is it the last call to lose by the situation or what, what's actually happened? Uh, it's all, there's always pressure. Um, it depends on how you manage it and handle it. Um, we control our own pressure and we focus on getting better ourselves, uh, focusing on basically making sure that uh, yeah, we're sharp and uh, have great attitude in all the processes that will obviously be, um, be uh, under pressure or have the ability to apply against the opposition at some point. So what external pressure comes uh, um, that's irrelevant to us, uh, ultimately um, that's something we can't control. So yeah, no, we're in good spirits, uh, we've got good energy, um, we know that our destiny is in our hands and really at the end of the day we're yeah, we're leaving it late, um, but yeah, we've certainly got to, at some point, um, collectively uh, kick on and, um, and send a message to, to everyone in this competition that, you know, um, that we can actually uh, um, you know, get to finals, and once you get to finals, obviously anything can happen. I don't think our approach is that different. Um, I think all the players know the situation we are in and I think we're just keen to get on the field uh, Sunday and give a better performance. Um, I think we try to get better and yeah, we, like Coach Meath said, we're not satisfied with uh, last weekend's um, performance so hopefully we can fix it th uh, this weekend. Yeah, we work in that area every week and there's an expectation to deliver. Um, clearly, some, some players you know, acknowledge that they fell short in, in their individual roles and, 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 and performances. So, you know, ultimately, at the end of the 
day you can't afford to, to go into first class rugby with somebody uh, you know, not uh, not being on, on uh, not pitching or being at the top of their game. Um, unfortunately, last week we had a few that um, that were probably under the benchmark. Um, so I'm sure there'll be a response this week. Uh, but it's not something about where you you add to the wounds or you you continue to harp on. It's ultimately trying to find a way where where the athlete can can improve and and build his confidence. So it's about sticking to the same processes, being constant and replicate the work. And uh, we, we do have, um, you have to acknowledge, we've got some very young men uh, in this Curry Cup side that are uh, having to learn learn the hard way week in and week out. And uh, how else do you learn? Um, and um, ultimately they've still got their confidence and they still believe in themselves. Um, so I, I think there'll be a good response by them this week. John, is that the type of thing that um, firstly makes it enjoyable to be in this phase of your development, just the enthusiasm still of the youngsters to learn even though they're making mistakes? Yeah, the, it is the learning phase. Um, there comes a point where, where you've got to get a payoff from that as well. Um, yeah, a lot of these guys also uh, probably got in the back of their mind about uh, super rugby selection as well. Um, so obviously, you know, you know, got a responsibility to uh, to make sure that the team is cohesive and carry cap, but I've also got an eye on Super Rugby as well, and who is, who I think is capable of uh, of performing and sustaining um, uh, in that tournament. So um, yeah, um, it's it's good to see the players under pressure um, and performance. It's good to have a look at their character as well and how they come in and out of performance, and also obviously with our strong training methodology, which is something new. Uh, to the club and to the athlete. Um, ultimately, we're now collecting data and becoming a lot more objective and lo logical in, in how we go about things. So, you know, um, there's not a lot of emotion in the in the decisions. Um, it's pretty pretty clear what uh, what an athlete's done or has to do in order to improve. Um, Berger, you've you've been playing a bit um, outside centre at the moment. Um, a lot of people say it's a fairly interchangeable um, position. Have you found that it's um, it's a diff it's a different um, approach you have to have to have to play in the number thirteen jersey, or is it, or do you feel you're pretty well equipped given that you've played in twelve as well? Um, I think in the new system it's not that big a change. Um, I think if it was a few weeks ago, it would have been mind blowing for me. Um, but yeah, um, I think I'm, I'm enjoying the, to play outside JT, I think he's a great player. And um, yeah, I just think um, we must build as a team and uh, like we're going on now, um, building connections between the players, I think we're really getting better and getting to know each other better. John, obviously you've had to, to shuffle a bit given that your backline resources have changed a lot during this campaign due to various factors. Um, but but is moving Berger to 13 something you're thinking about in the future as well, perhaps? I'm glad um, uh, you, I had the opportunity to continue the question. Um, firstly, uh, I know Berger can play 12, um, so that's, uh, that's critically important. Um, I think you also realise I have a philosophy around 12 being a distributor. So I'm looking to develop more of those players within the club because as much as I'd like to have uh, you know, Berger for, for 19 games in, in, um, in Super Rugby and finals, uh, the way it works is that you want you've got to manage load, and two, it, it's, it, you know, um, hopefully he doesn't get injured, touch wood, but um, the, yeah, there's the high uh, probability in, at this level of rugby, so it's important to not only develop you know, one, um, but I think we've almost got to be three or four deep uh, to make sure that that uh, point of attack, that second pivot, uh, is very much still part of our, our attacking system and our defensive system. Hey, John, after a back-to-back -back defeat against uh, the Sharks and the Lions, would you still say, are you still optimistic that uh, the playoff uh, position is still in the uh, Definitely, but uh, it's not something that I focus on, and I don't expect the players to focus on the log, nor do I really over-focus on the opposition. All, all we're worrying about at the moment are concerning ourselves with and putting our positive energy towards is how ourselves and how we can get better. And ultimately, our, our biggest task is to become consistent. And that's the, that's the challenge that's in front of us. And certainly, uh, um, but, you know, we're running out of time. You know, time um, the timeline shortening, which is also not a bad thing in sport as well. Uh, so there, there is a realization that we, we actually are going to have to become very cohesive and consistent very soon.
So the due to the unfortunate injury to Bob, you were named captain a few weeks ago. And it's uh, being named captain is a make or break player. What's your experience being captain? Um, it's different. Um, a lot of different things you have to focus on. Um, but yeah, I think the players around me helped me a lot, um, especially Nick. Um, when I got injured, then he took captain again, and then I came back. And so yeah, I think um, me and me and him uh, work well on the field together, and yeah, he helps helps me to make the right calls at the right times. To add to to leadership, um, I probably haven't really shared uh, the reasons for the, uh, the the leadership approach, but um, I'm very much uh, into shared leadership. And uh, I don't think you can put the responsibility on one pair of shoulders. And again, you know, like um, players get injured, and so you've got to make sure that uh, wh whatever week that you you enter, um, you've got leadership within the group, uh, and certainly uh, what a person that's that's that, that's starting. So uh, that's why I look to uh, a great a bigger group of uh, of leaders. And ultimately, um, while it's a special and a privileged uh, opportunity to to captain. Uh, the balls. Um, it's really a, a situation where we, we, where we look to share it, and, and that will continue going forward. Okay, coach, uh, Vata's not here. He just sent me a question. Um, what are your thoughts on Western Province and the importance of the next three games? Uh, what is the? Uh, what, can you repeat that again? What was the first part? What are your thoughts on Western Province and the importance of the next three games? Okay. What is the importance of Western Province and? And the importance of the next three games. Let's just answer the first question. Uh, yeah, Province um, yeah, will be nice and direct. They've got strong strengths at scrum time, uh, line out drive time. Uh, they like to move the ball confidently. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that approach won't be any different coming here here to Loftus. Uh, uh, like any any side, it's um, yeah, it's whether we allow them to become confident uh, and and get into rhythm and flow. So. Uh, um, they've got a lot of young talent as well. Uh, and the next three games were was really dependent upon what we do on the weekend. So don't really look too much further ahead than uh, controlling what uh, uh, training tomorrow and, and performance on, on, on Sunday. John, um, sorry, just on John Dobson, he pretty much stirred the hornest mess in that regard. Just your thoughts on having a seven-man bench um, in the Curry Cup, especially given the fact that some teams can only then employ one prop or, or they have to sacrifice another guy on the bench to have two props? Yeah, well, obviously we're used to 23 now. Um, we're used to strategically being able to replace you know, Lucy and, and, and Tidy in the, in the scrum. Um, it does create a challenge uh, in the box, and especially um, depending on whether you've got... Uh, um, your replacement being more more developed in tight head or more developed in loose head. Uh, we, we obviously go with two tight heads, um, so ultimately the loose head has to go 80 minutes. Um, we're very fortunate that somebody like Pierre and, uh, and Lizo who have played that role this year uh, are capable of going that distance because uh, you know, they're very, very fit and, and, uh, and mobile. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's just... Uh, it's a challenge in the sense that you can't put another guy on and, and um, I guess increase the tempo of the game. So you just got to, it, it is what it is, you know, and, and we just get on with it. Um, yeah, 5 2 bench is uh, smart if you, if you want to bring your forward pack on, but ultimately if you lose some backs early in injury, um, that can become a complication as well. So uh, I, I've tried 5 2s before, um, but ultimately based on our team selection, um, our four three mix uh, suits us. I just finally, um, just reg with regards to the partnership with Chalk, um, we, as professionals, are, are extremely privileged and honoured every day to come into an environment that is um, that is you know, really something that we that we're gifted with um, from a talent. And yes, clearly we've got to work harder to become better at it. Um, and at times we also become vulnerable as well as, as athletes and as coaches. But um, I guess the great thing about you know, childhood cancer and the support for Chalk is that um, those people are, are extremely vulnerable and you have to admire their tenacity and their strength. And ultimately, I guess they send us a great message in life about humility. And I think um, as sportsmen, if we can remain humble 
and we accept humility, then um, we've got a, a great opportunity of becoming better people and, uh, and better athletes. So thank you for your support.